found it in the green belt in the bag beneath the leaves down there time capsule with moss growing on it a picture of me kissing your feet that I drew in that graph paper notebook and it's waiting in the forest laying there hoping to change my mind and I thought I'm gonna call you up and pretend you're mine Call you up and pretend you're mine. I'm gonna go. Did you think of me lately? Do you wanna come and save me like wild flowers you pressed in pages? But it was bigger than me. Not simple nor free, but I, your lips were all fire and blood upon me. And it's funny how the world keeps on spinning around, like no one else notices what's missing from the middle of it all. But I'm gonna call you up. Pretend you're mine, I'm gonna call you up mm -hmm. Pretend you're mine, I'm gonna mm -hmm. Maybe there's hope after all Maybe there's something for us Or maybe I'm just wasting my And you're mine, I'm gonna call you up oh, And pretend you're mine, I'm gonna call you up oh, And pretend you're mine, I'm gonna call you up Pretend you're mine I'm gonna call Thank you. Thank you. That was a beautiful song. What inspired you to play that today? Uh, man, that's a good question. Um, I've been writing a lot lately and uh, this one feels feels pretty close to me. It's like kind of imaginary insofar as the scope of the writing, but uh, the lyrics refer to the forest that I grew up playing in and um, some kind of references that feel very close to me. So uh, I just felt like it was something personal that I could share. And where was that that you grew up? Uh, outside of Seattle. And you're very passionate about the environment, so it's nice that we have all these trees around us today. Uh, you drive around in a solar trailer. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Uh, sure. Uh, my band Trapdoor Social um, has been really into kind of promoting environmental causes. And one of the things we do is solar powered events. We have a mobile solar generator that we take on tour with us and do solar powered shows. Uh, around. Sorry, you did um, some festivals as well, right? Mm -hmm. You want to tell us about that? Sure, yeah. Here in L.A., that solar-powered show became Sunstock Solar Festival, which we did uh, for the last three years. 
So how do you feel about the fact that it snowed in Los Angeles recently? Uh, I didn't know that, but that's very exciting. I, I wish I could have played in it. And I hope everyone just keeps in mind that, uh, you know, weather is not climate and that climate change is going to lead to a lot of chaos and weird things happening in a lot of places. It's really easy to, like, some places will get colder and some places will get warmer. The average temperature will rise and it's hard to see that for a lot of people and, like, realize that climate change is happening. Well, you're setting a great example with the solar trailer and the solar festivals that you're doing. So thank you. Thank you, Jillian. And while I'm here, uh, I just want to invite anybody who's watching, if it happens to be before uh, March 8th, we're playing a show at the Terragram, uh, and we'd love to see you there. And I also heard that you're a fan of hot sauce, and you make your own, is that right? Yeah, fan might not be a strong enough word. There's like some kind of addiction uh, thing that I've had going for a while, and I absolutely adore the sensation of being burned, and uh, I do make and sell my own hot sauce. It's called Uncle Skies, and you can find it on the internet. Uncle Sky is awesome. And where can people find you online? Uh, Skylar Funk um, is like Skylar.Funk on Instagram or at Skylar Funk on Twitter or Facebook, uh, stuff like that. Skylar Funk, go check it out. I'm Jillian Driscoll, and this has been Balcony TV Los Angeles. Okay.